Hello and welcome to vlog. <laughs> Today I'm actually filming my monthly wrap up. I barely did anything this month, <laughs> uh, especially read. So there's not gonna be much to talk about, but I gotta keep myself into the habit so that I don't lose the habit. So what happened this month? <laughs> I feel like for the past couple of videos, I have been talking about how I've been having a really rough time. And this month kind of peaked in that sense where my anxiety was just way too high for just no reason. Kind of around the same time every day, I would have, I, I don't know, I would just like, I'll just be sitting there and all of a sudden it'd be really really hard to breathe so I just did not have the energy to read to do anything else than to just practice my breathing practice my self self-regulating techniques that I learned through therapy and other outlets and that was basically taking up most of my time for any one of my viewers who's a spiritual girly like me, <laughs> I am going through a very big tower moment, which basically means that a lot of things in my life are changing and it's taking my body a while to catch up, especially because one of the things that are just changing drastically is the way I think, <laughs> which is obviously a good thing, right? I am a lot less negative and just the negativity in the brain is a lot lower. So my body's kind of like responding to it in a sense. I got an email talking about school orientation the other day and mentally I was okay when usually I would start freaking out and being self-conscious and being scared of the first day of school and everything like that but this time around I was able to stop myself before that spiral got worse <laughs> but my body hasn't caught up with me mentally so I noticed that the next day my anxiety was really bad the next day even though nothing happened you know, the anxiety should have been yesterday, but my body's catching up and that's when I was feeling really stressed and my body was all tense and I couldn't breathe and everything like that. Also had this weird self-destructive moment where I was this close, this close to giving up on a hobby that I've always really wanted to work hard on. <laughs> And I talked myself off that ledge and thankfully I was able to journal about it and be okay. <laughs> so basically this month was just full of mental healing, <laughs> if I do say so myself. So like I mentioned, I only read one book to this month fully and <laughs> the only book that I read fully was Clara and the Sun by Kazu Shiguru. And like I mentioned in my old videos, um, this is a sci-fi novel about a robot who's essentially an artificial friend for a terminally ill child. That's basically what this is about. I felt like the stakes for this book were way too high <laughs> to be such a slow burn of a book. This is obviously literary fiction, so it obviously focused on Clara's development, but I don't even think her development was paced right. I don't even know if she learned the lesson that she needed to learn through this book. This novel for sure was a big disappointment, in my opinion. And the novels that I'm currently reading that I still want to add to this book, I decided to challenge myself. I am personally not that big on poetry, but I have had on my desk Mary Oliver's devotions since January. And I told myself that I would pick it up 
little by little just to help me get back into reading and everything like that and I have actually been able to make significant progress with this. I picked this up when my anxiety was a little more over the top because I guess mentally I just needed something short, sweet, and to the point. And this basically did the job. This this basically did, did the job. I've been enjoying this book very, very much, this collection of poems. All of these tabs are my favorite ones, basically the ones that I want to keep marked. And as you could see, there's quite a few and I'm not even close to finishing the book. So considering that it's half the year, I'm glad that I finally made some significant progress on this. And another challenge that I started, I guess you could say, is a continuation. Sorry, my camera died, so I apologize if the angle is different or whatever. But like I was saying, I started a classic which is Jane Eyre and my goal is to see if I want to keep it on my favorite shelf, which so far so good. I'm still only less than 100 pages in, but I still really like it. Um, is exactly how I remember it. I actually have been wanting to reread it, so everything is checking out. <laughs> so that leads to the next portion of the video, which is something that I've been wanting to do. I personally don't consider myself a booktuber because I don't really review books. I just talk about the books that I'm reading or whatever. But anyways, I've been seeing the mid-year freakout tag and I decided to want to answer these questions. So here we go. Okay, so the first question is, what is the best book you've read so far? And that will that would definitely have to be Poor Things by Alistair Gray. Question number two is best sequel you've read so far in 2016. And I actually don't read a lot of series, so I'm gonna have to skip that one. New releases you haven't read yet, but want to. So for me, this book would have to be Woodworm by Leila Martin Martinez. And that one recently came, just came out apparently. And I bought it right away. And I'm excited to, I'm excited to really read it, to finally read it. Because it's a, it falls under the horror genre. I am actually going to read it next week for Summerween. So stay tuned if you're curious about that. <laughs> the next question is most anticipated release for the second half of the year. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't really keep up with book releases. So biggest disappointment is honestly a tie between... No, I take that back. The biggest disappointment for this year is definitely Clara and the Sun. Like I mentioned, a lot of people have been saying that it's a really good novel and my teacher, my professor told me that he cried a little bit with it and I was just like, meh. <laughs> biggest surprise. My biggest surprise would probably be A River Enchanted just because I'm not a big fan of fantasy, but I, as soon as I got hooked, I got hooked. I loved it. I, I bought the second book as fast as I could and I can't wait to actually read and finish it. So that was definitely a big surprise for me. A second surprise I think would have to be An Apprenticeship or The Book of Pleasures by Clarice Lispector. That one, I've been really, really liking Clarice, Lis Clarice Lispector's work and I am in the middle of trying to finish her entire backlog. However, she is very hard to read, but that book made it onto my favorite shelf. So that was that was a surprise for me. Favorite new author would have to be Clarice Lispector, for sure. I first started reading her work in February of this year, and I'm just so in love with I'm just so in love with every book that I pick up. Some are uh, 
not the, you know, some obviously rank lower than others, but I do want to continue reading everything she's written. So yeah, she is my favorite new author for sure. The next question is newest fictional crush and none of these books have made me want to be like, that's my man. The Alpha Werewolf from Bride by Ali Hazelwood may be a very close call, but I don't, I still don't really like fawn over him. Newest favorite character would probably be Sidra from Enchanted River. She was just a beautiful character. I felt every emotion that she felt. She's a young stepmom and she fell in love with the little girl right away and I don't know everything about her character arc and story within Enchanted River was just so great for me. So she is definitely my new favorite character. The next question is book that made me cry that <laughs> anyways book that made you happy <laughs> no i'm just kidding that would have to be bright by ali hazelwood no comments book that made you happy would definitely be pretty things in apprenticeship or the book of pleasures an enchanted river and basically every book that has been on my favorite shelf so far most beautiful the, 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 most beautiful book you've bought so far this year i can't think of anything right now so i'll just have editing laura put the book that i chose up on this side of the screen because i really i've been on a book buying ban for a really long time <laughs> so yeah i can't really remember what i bought in this year just because everything is very blurred at the moment but like i said editing laura will post the book that wins for that okay so what books do you need to read by the end of the year i definitely have a couple classics that i want to finally read not reread but like finally read by the end of the year especially since i think this next quarter is the last time that i'll be able to have all that free time to invest into my free reading definitely i want to get to a fire endless which is the second book to a river enchanted by the end of the year the last question is uh shouting out my favorite booktube members here on youtube so i will have them displayed on the screen right now and uh tagged in the description below but the biggest shout out goes to allison pages who when i found her channel i was like in a really bad rut and she basically helped me pick up a book again and even inspired me to start vlogging and i just really want to say that i hope she is feeling better and that is the end of the video like i mentioned this month wasn't very much because i did deal with a lot of mental blocks i guess you could say the mental health was semi-healthing i just really needed to practice regulating my body more instead of focusing on picking up a camera or even picking up a book <laughs> sometimes sitting in silence is helpful and like i mentioned i am planning on doing summer ween which if you're new to any book tube related is a reading challenge hosted by gabby reads and livia loves a latte i think and and they dedicate an entire week of reading horror books in the summer <laughs> so if you're curious to the books that i'm gonna read for that then i would consider subscribing to my channel because i will post an update on that if you like this video maybe consider liking it and if you'd like to see more of my face then definitely consider subscribing i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and i will hopefully see you in the next video bye bye, bye, -bye. <laughs>